This is the gyro stabilised kit that we have. It consists of two Kenyon gyros uh, suspended in a platform that could be mounted in any helicopter without an EO, just by sitting on the seat or any plane or any four-wheel drive, and it steadies the shot incredibly. Included with the kit is a 24 volt ballast suitable for the 44 Raven 2 and all the cables and cords you'll need. So you'll see the base has removable stabilizer arms that you can just rest on the seat or we have a custom built um, caddy for the 44 which I'll show you soon. So as you can see on the base it's got four removable arms that stabilize the unit when it's just sitting on a seat or we actually have a cradle that we built for our 44, which I'll show you shortly. The gyros are mounted on an opposing axis. So once they spin up completely, they spin at 10,000 RPM, and then they stabilize the camera from yawing and pitching. It's actually relatively easy to control and get some beautiful footage, as you've seen from our showreel. We've mainly used uh, digital SLRs with a variety of lenses uh, with the mount. You can use much bigger cameras as you see from the pictures and it still works very well. So coming off the gyro, each gyro has a power cable and it connects straight into the ballast. Uh, there's three pins for the gyro ballast, uh, for the gyro power cables. Then this cable goes either into the cigarette supply for the helicopter or um, it goes directly to a battery. Our normal workflow would be to uh, mount, the, mount into the helicopter and instead of starting the engine of the helicopter, we'll connect it to um, an external battery and spin it up. It takes about 20 minutes to get to full RPMs and you'll hear them kick off now. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and now the unit has fully spun up to speed. So each of those gyros is doing 10,000 RPM and now the, the platform will resist being moved. So to actually move it back and forth is um, relatively smooth, but there's some resistance and bouncing up and down, it wants to try and sit in the same plane. So what we find, if I try and lift it, it feels incredibly heavy. And that's just the, from the gyros resisting uh, moving out of plane. So when it's actually sitting in the helicopter, it looks like it's doing this, but it's sitting completely still and the helicopter's bouncing around it. And so you can uh, control it and get some really nice, sweeping, gentle um, shots. And if you're using a telephoto lens and you're doing just photography, you'll find that it accentuates the stabilization massively. And so therefore you can get crisper shots on longer lenses. To mount the um, the gyro in a 44, what we've done is we flip up the seat, just secure it to stop it from flapping about. Then we've built a pretty basic mount, but it works really well. That just slips into the open hole. Then once that's in, the unit itself comes up and sits on the platform. Then we've got position holes that the, it's then um, cable tied down and we use the seat belt to secure it. The idea of the mount is it just takes away some of the tilt of the 44 seat to allow the mount to sit um, reasonably flat and when the aircraft's flying obviously it tilts a little bit nose forward and we find it's perfectly balanced. So from a different angle you can see with the base plate and the camera mounted on it the camera is basically right next to the wind flow and is perfectly positioned to be operated by someone sitting in the other rear seat. Mm -hmm.